welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today we are going to be doing my first ever book haul. So last week it was my birthday, and as always, my parents have no clue what to get me. What should we get you, Katie? Books. What, do you, what else do you want? Books. Yes, I have that much of a life. Yay, book nerds. So, I don't know about you guys, but I get a good 80-90% of my books from the library. So I don't really, I mean, I own a lot, but I read a ton more than I do not own. So I was going through my list of favorite books on Goodreads the other day. I remember that. I remember that. Turns out I only own, like, two of my favorite books. Yeah, that's bad. So I told my parents on my birthday, I want some really good books. So these books, or at least the first part, are all approved by moi because they're amazing. And I just like books. So... First of all, the first books I got are books one through four of the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones. City of Ashes. City of Glass. I really like these covers, by the way. They're pretty cool. And City of Fallen Angels. I already have this one in hardcover, but this one comes with a special short story from Jace's point of view about the first time that Jace and Clary kissed. We all need more Jace, so happy about that. For those of you that don't know, or I mean if you don't know, you could probably hold up in a rock somewhere, but the Mortal Instruments series is about a group of people called Shadow Hunters, who are these badass people who are descended from angels and go around and hunt demons for a living. Woo! And then this girl Clary comes into the world, she discovers Jace, this is this Oh, I love Jace so much. And if you want to know more, read the book. My summaries probably suck, but Whatever. And the movie's coming out in August. Gonna be the biggest fangirl there ever. I feel bad for whoever I go to the movies with because I'm always that awkward person in the back who just doesn't know when to shut up. Yeah, that's me. Next, another Cassandra Clare favorite. Clockwork Angel, which is the first book in the Infernal Devices series. This, like the Mortal Instruments, is about shadow hunters, but it takes place in 19th century England. And they're all pretentious and other fun stuff like that. I love England, so this one's good. Um, I like it, I don't know, maybe as much better, I don't know, than Mortal Instruments. Some people like it better, some people don't like it. But the good thing about this book is it has one of the best love triangles in YA. Yes, there is such thing as a good love triangle. I've been looking for it for a while. Trust me, because every book, you open it up. Oh, boy meets girl, ha ha ha. Oh, new boy. Oh, no, we're going to ditch the old one. Oh, my God, I don't know who I love more. Summary of the basic teen contemporary novel. But yeah, in this book, there's uh, Will, who is the sexy, sarcastic asshead. And then there is Jem, who is the quiet, demure, nice guy who is dying. I like Will better, personally. But yeah, this is another good series. And the good thing with Cassandra Clare's books, there's these covers. I don't know about you guys, when I get a new book, the first thing I do, I run to the mailbox, scream, because I'm happy, stroke the cover, because it's cool. I probably seem like such a loser right now. Whatever. And then what you do, seems so weird, but new book smell. New book smell is almost as good as old book smell. I mean, old books smell good unless they're like moldy and stuff. But yeah, I just did a book sniff on the internet. First time for everything. So moving on, next book I got is The Delirium Stories by Lauren Oliver. The Delirium series is one of my favorites. So when I found out that these books were actually coming out in print, I was so happy because... Unlike all the other booktubers out there, I do not own an e-reader. I am against it. I really like real books. So yeah, this has the stories of Hannah, Annabelle, and Raven. Very good. Next book is Unspoken by Sarah Rees Brennan. I read this book over Christmas, and oh my god. There is not another book who is, that has made me laugh and cry at the same time. And then sometimes I was laughing so hard I was crying. Contradiction in itself, but the next book doesn't come out until August. Sad face. But this book is also takes place in England, because England's just that cool. It's the story of Candy Glass, who ever since she's younger, she has had this guy that she talks to in her head, and everyone thinks she's crazy, and then one day, he shows up out of the blue in her hometown. And he's really hot, too. So, yay for hot guys and books. I did a book talk on this, if you want to go look it up. It's very good. I like the cover on this, too. It's very shiny. Next, I think this is the last book I actually got in my birthday thing, or I have some that are still coming, but Barnes Noble is a little bitch, and they don't send stuff on time, or they do, but they have to wait until the whole order shows up. So next book is Starcrossed. 
ooh, shiny, by Josephine Angelini. And this is a mythology series, or I think it's described as being Troy meets Romeo and Juliet. It is about a girl named Helen, and she is gorgeous and then suddenly these new family moves into town and they want to claw each other's eyes out and they find out that it's because of the furies they're demigods and this is a really good book too i like this cover the last one comes out in may sad for that so the next book that i got actually i did not get for my birthday i enter a lot of online giveaways and stuff and this book was sent to me from penguin team which is a publishing company and it is the immune and more by sarah nesson this book does not come out until June. Yes, this is an arc. Arcs are cool. And it is also, if I can find it, signed by Sarah Dessen. So I'm very excited to read this one. I like a lot of her books. It, I mean, she actually can write contemporary. There's some people who write contemporary. It's just, why, why, why? So last but not least, I received these books from Epic Reads, which is a website for like teen YA books and they are both by Leslie Livingston. The first one is called Wondrous Strange. I think this book is about fairies. I don't know that much about this one. I feel bad, but it looks cool. I mean, it has a cool cover. So even if I don't like it, I have something pretty to put on my bookshelf. Not really because my bookshelf is currently full. So step more for stacks of books on the floor. I'm getting a bookshelf for my late birthday present. We'll be very happy when that comes. And last but not least is Starling, also by Leslie Livingston. I think this one is about werewolves. Still not sure. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you've heard of any of these books or want me to do like a full out review on them, let me know in the comments below. And also, before I go, I wanted to start kind of a new tradition thing and give my quote of the week. Because whenever I find a quote I like, I either like it on Goodreads or I read it in my quote notebook which isn't that full yet. But the one I'm going to pick today is by Jane Austen, and it is, if a book is well written, I always find it too short. So thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you guys later.